Hello friend, welcome to all of you. This is the chapter number two, Negotiable Instrument Act, 1881. This is the second last point of the chapter number two, Negotiable Instrument Act, 1881. And today we're looking here the 2.5, Dishonor of Negotiable Instrument. In the previous lecture, we see the two concepts in 2.3 and 2.4, negotiation and the present pain. Today we discuss here the dishonor of negotiable instrument. So we see that the various negotiable instrument used in practice like the promissory note, bill of exchange and check. And the dishonor of the negotiable instrument means the a promissory note, bill of exchange or the check get the dishonor when the person is the maker of the note or the acceptor of the bill or draw of the check make a default by not paying of the liability which lies upon such a person. So when we like the present the check in the bank, the bank is a drawee or the acceptor, he default bought by not paying of liability, not paying the amount of the check because of the insufficient of balance, the reason of bounds of check, of the reason of the maker or the drawer given the some instructions to stop the payment. So dishonor of negotiable instrument means the promissory note, bill of exchange or check, they are get dishonor when the person, it maker of the note given the instruction or the acceptor of the bill or the drawee of the check make a default by not paying off the liability which lies upon such a person. So in the case of the check, the when the payment is not accepted by the bank and not given as per the instruction of drawer and maker, it's called the dishonor. Such a person has a liability or duty discharge himself of the liability by making the payment is the stipulated by the instrument is called the dishonor of negotiable instrument. When he failed to do so, the instrument is called the dishonor. So bank is failed to the uh, give payment to the us like the dishonor of the check. So dishonor of the negotiable instrument. So whenever we not get payment for our check because of the instruction of the drawer or the sometime the insufficient balance in the account or whatever reasons. Meaning of dishonor of negotiable instrument is given negotiable instrument act 1881. The according to the this act, the dishonor of negotiable instrument means the loss of honor or respect for the instrument in question on the part of the maker, drawee or acceptor as a case may be which eventually result in non-realization of payment due on the instruments. So non-realization of the payment due on the instrument means the dishonor of the negotiable instrument. So as per the act, the 1881, when the instrument is present for the payment and the maker, acceptor or drawee fail in the making the payment, it is said that the instrument has the dishonor. So maker, acceptor or drawee fail to making the payment of the negotiable instrument. It's called the dishonor of negotiable instrument. So there are the two main types of the negotiable instruments dishonor. Dishonor of negotiable instruments by non-acceptance or dishonor of negotiable instrument by the non-payment. So non-acceptance is about only about the bill of exchange and non-payment is about the check, promissory note and bill of exchange. Means all three are included in non-payment. But non-acceptance is happen about only the bill of exchange. When the negotiable instrument is a dishonor, the holder must give a notice dishonor to all previous parties order to make them the liable. So in the case of dishonor, there is the uh, liable all parties the about the notice of dishonor. So dishonor by the non-acceptance is the first type under section 91. So since the acceptance is required only in the case of the bill of exchange, when we see in our earlier slide, it is a follow that only the bill of exchange may be discharged by non-acceptance of course, all types of the negotiable instruments are dishonored by the non-payment. 
So all negotiable instrument means a check, the bill of exchange and promissory note is dishonored by the non-payment, but only in the case of the bill of exchange is about the non-acceptance under section 91. So dishonored by the non-acceptance under section 91, a bill is said dishonored by the non-acceptance when the drawee or one several drawers make a default in the accept the instrument in the following ways. So some of the ways and the some of the reasons is given the non-acceptance of the bill is that time it is the dishonor of the bill. Dishonor by the non-acceptance if a bill presented to draw for acceptance and he does not accept within the exhibition means the 48 hours or within the time of present when when there are a several draw even if one of them a maker or default is accept the bill is deemed to be dishonor unless these several drawees are the partners. So if the bill presented is not in the within the time 48 hours and the uh, after is due date and the one of the maker is a default in the acceptance of the bills deemed that time dishonor by the bill by the non-acceptance. When the drawee is the fictitious person or if he cannot be traced after the reasonable search fictitious means the imaginative person who the take in the uh, part uh, in negotiation and whenever we trace the person he not uh, find that time the uh, dishonor by the non-acceptance of bill. When the drawee is the uh, income tent in incompetent to contain the bill and treated as a dishonor. So whenever the draw is the income tent, the incompetent about the payment of the bill, that time is also dishonor of the bill. The another is the when the bill is accepted with the qualified acceptance, the holder may treat the bill of exchange having be dishonor. So holder through is a dishonor of the bill. When the drawee has the either become insolvent or it's dead, that time the uh, bill is become a dishonor. When the drawee has the either become insolvent or the dead of the drawee. The when the present when for the acceptance is uh, excused and the bill is not accepted. So last is the when the present when or for the acceptance of bill is excused excused and the bill is not accepted that time the bill dishonor from non acceptance dishonor by the non payment under section 92 all the negotiable instrument means promissory bill then the bill of exchange and check is the dishonor by the non payment under section 92 when the maker of the note acceptor of the bill or the check maker default in the payment upon being duly regulated to pay the sum amount that time the dishonor of the negotiable instrument of non-payment is the not possible to give the payment of the parties. In the following cases in the instrument is the deemed to be dishonored by the non-payment when there is the default in the payment by the party liable to pay the instrument so party is not liable to pay the instrument and default when the instrument is the overdue and the remain the unpaid. So overdues after the date that is not possible to give payment by the drawee to the pay person. So remedies in the case of the dishonor whatever the remedies and measures taken when the dishonor the particular bill or the promissory note and the check. The remedies to give notice of dishonor the all parties give the notice of dishonor except the check then get dishonor of bill and promise a note and the protest. So dishonor of the bill or the promissory note is noted and protested. So there is the under the negotiable instrument act 1881 there is a necessary note down the under the registrar and the notary public the negotiable instrument and take a certification of this noting it's called the protest under section 100. So section 99 and the section 100 is about the noting and protesting. 
these are the two remedies notice of dishonor in section 93 when the negotiable instrument is dishonored by the non acceptance or the non payment the holder there must be given notice to dishonor to all the parties where the holder seek make several libel thereon and to some several parties when he seek to make jointly libel thereon so whenever the jointly libel of two or more parties that time necessary to give notice of dishonor so dishonor through of the non acceptance or uh, dishonor through of the non payment there is a necessary given notice to the all concerned party when the notice of dishonor is not necessary in the following cases under section 98 so sometime is uh, uh, when the notice is dishonor is not necessary first we see that the notice need not to be given make of dishonor of the promissory note so in the case of promissory note it is need not the given the notice the second thing the drawee or acceptor of this dishonor bill of the exchange and the check so drawee or acceptor of this dishonor own that time bill of exchange and check that time not given the notice when the notice is dispensed with by the party initiated there to so parties take initiated about the or uh, initiated that time not given the notice when the drawer has the counter mandated of payment drawer is the counter mandated payment in the case of dishonor that time not given the notice when the party charge could not suffer the damage after due this search be found so any uh, parties like the uh, pay not suffer from this dishonor that time not uh, not suffer or not damage that time not given the notice to the drawee or the certain concerned parties when the party bound to given notice is for any other reason unable to give without any fault of his part so whenever the there is the no role of the maker or drawer and the given reason and the a reasonable uh, proof that time is uh, not given the notice to the party mean the uh, due date is the over because of by fault of the any technical problem that time there is not necessary given the notice and when the party initiated to notice knowing the fact of promise the unconditionally pay the amount due on the instrument that time is not necessary to give notice in case of promise note which is uh, not negotiable so these are the things where the notice of dishonor is not uh, necessary to give on of parties modes of giving dishonor under section 94 so modes of the dishonor notice whom the notice should be given whom should the notice is given the notice of dishonor must given duly authorized agent of the person to whom it is the required to be given the authorized agent of the uh, check authorized agent of the promissory note and bill of exchange if the person to whom it notice is to be served is dead and but party sending notice is the ignorant of the death the notice is the sufficient and the death of the certain person but that time the sending the notice to the ignorance is they sufficient but liable person is dead notice may be given to his legal representative so legal representative sometime in business we appoint the some legal representative by lawyer that time the notice is given to liable person or legal represent if the person is liable is insolvent the notice may be given is the assignee or the receiver so in the case of the dishonor of the check and bounce of check that time the person is dead that time the ignorant person is also received the notice but person is ignorant that time minor person the notice is given to the legal representative of the person concerned parties and the if the person is a liable insolvent the notice is given the assignee or the receiver the next is the how should be the notice be given how should be notice is given to the parties the notice of dishonor may be oral or written in the full or part 
so whenever the check is bounced and the dishonor of the check that time the bank informed to the customer in uh, orally about the dishonor of check and also given a written notice may be sent by post in the person through of the messenger notice must be given within the reasonable time after the dishonor so within the time is given the notice and it must be given a usual place of business the business address of the shop business address of the firm is that time the notice is be should given or at he is the resident of if the party has no business place if the party has not business place that time the uh, is resident or uh, address is given the notice of dishonor party receiving the notice must he give the notice of dishonor to any prior party to render the prior party liable to the himself so any liable party and partner so how should the notice given notice is given in within the uh, time in the business place and the residential address also so notice is given to the liable parties who is the mention in the uh, negotiable instruments next is about the form and content of the notice what are the content is mentioned in the notice notice of dishonor may be in any form but notice must be in form either express term or the reasonable intent meant that whatever thing is included in this notice is the important thing is the the instrument has been the dishonor the inform to the party that their instrument is be dishonor the next is the in what way it is the dishonor like the check in the dishonor about the insufficient of the balance in account or other way there the wrongful signature and whatever things the next is the contain whether the non accept or the non payment what are the things is wrong how the dishonor of the negotiable instrument in the way of non acceptance or the non payment of negotiable instrument that he will be the held the liable thereon and who is the liable for this dishonor this contain is necessary in the dishonor of notice so summary of this lecture what we learn from this lecture dishonor of negotiable instrument means the when the maker or draw is uh, or acceptor not uh, given payment to the certain parties or pay or not liable to the uh, parties payment that time the dishonor of the negotiable instrument so this dishonor of negotiable instrument like dishonor of check dishonor of the promissory note and dishonor of the bill of exchange dishonor by the two ways the dishonor by non acceptance and dishonor by the non acceptors under section 91 is about only bill of exchange and dishonor by the non payment under section 92 it is happen about the all negotiable instrument bill of exchange promissory note and the check notice of dishonor is necessary given under section 93 into the within the time and business place and prior proper the uh, legal parties and the agent of the person or the any of the person which is related with the negotiable instrument here we looking the references for your study the nirali publication book banking finance 3 and the success publication book the banking law and practices so assignment question what question will be asked on this topic what is the dishonor of negotiable instrument and what are the kind of dishonor there is a two kind and two types the non acceptance and non payment this question will be asked for 10 marks in term and exam as well as your annual examination so here is the complete your assignment question so thank you for watching this video and the next time we will be meet with the next point and next point is about the noting under section 99 and protesting under section 100 noting and protesting of negotiable instrument